Hello, hello, D-Rock here, you first outdoors. Hope you all are well. I got uh, Jen and North with me, and the hounds. And we're in the Fish Lake National Forest, up here in central Utah. We found a place we're gonna camp, where all the cow crap is. <laughs> And uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to attempt to bag Fool's Creek Peak. I think it's just Fool Creek Peak. Well, one or the other. Anyway, that's the plan. And uh, we're expecting a pretty chilly night. I think tonight's supposed to get down to just above freezing. So, that'll be good. <laughs> it's early October. And then uh, we'll get up in the morning and... Uh, Go back out here and make our way to the summit of Fool Creek Peak. That's what we're thinking anyway. Getting things all situated for a cold night. Jen's over here processing some wood. Good exercise. Oh yeah. Norse over here processing some wood as well. Nice job. Oh, you love it though. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, it's gonna freeze tonight. Got a nice little spring bar tent up. We're set, like I said, we're in the Fish Lake National Forest. We're just outside of a small town called Oak City in kind of west central Utah, if that makes sense. Uh, there are two campgrounds uh, back ways. There's the Oak Creek Campground, which is a big campground. And there's a smaller one, I think it's Little Oak Creek or something along that name. But uh, if you continue on a little farther, you're in the National Forest, you can camp without having to pay and that's kind of what we did. We just rolled through because all the campsites down there, of course, uh, they had campers. And I'm sure the generators will be going well into the evening. And we just didn't want any part of that. So we continued on down the road a bit and found this nice little spot here under the junipers. And this will do us just fine. The actual trailhead for our peak is back down the dirt road a bit. Not too far. So we'll get up early and uh, have a run at it. Fire pit's looking nice. We're going to go ahead and start the fire. Uh, sun's about to drop, so it's going to get chilly real quick. And then we kind of dug off to the side here for this grate because we're going to grill up some burgers. So we'll have our main fire pit there. Then we can transfer some right here and we'll be good to go. Sound like a plan, Jen? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. 
Nice. 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 How was your burger, Jim? It was awesome. How was your burger, North? It was good. How was your burger? Mine was quite tasty. <laughs> yeah, I do believe so. All right, we're kicking it. <clears throat> Sun is down. Here comes the cold. We're gonna chill by the fire for a while and then uh, get in the tent and catch some sleep for a long day tomorrow. I think our eight miles round trip, how much, uh, 3,300 feet of climbing? Yep. Yeah, should be a good day. We kind of waited till the fall for to do this when it's cooler because um, as you'll see tomorrow, the all the forest burned, so we'll have total exposure. It'll be uh, it'll be cool, but uh, the sun will be on us, so it'll be warm. So that's why I waited till it cooled off out here. All right. Well, it uh, appears it's going to be a little colder than we. Uh, <laughs> Originally thought, eh, Jen? Yeah, it's gonna be really cold. It is really cold. <coughs> well, uh, when I checked the weather, I checked it for Oak uh, City. That's a little farther down. Down, and I mean down in altitude <laughs> than where we're camping. It was 34 there, so up here, what are you thinking? I mean, 32. It'll, yeah, it'll be freezing. Two degrees difference? Yeah, probably. 500 feet, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it's going to be a chilly morning. Anyway, there you have it. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning, and uh, let's go get Fool Creek Peak. Right, Jen? Let's do it. All right. Do you rock out for the night? And Jen out for the night. Where's no jazz? Is it cold out there, Jen? No? Just a little bit of frost on the windshield. Yeah. All right, well, that was a frigid start to the day. I think we got about four miles in, so as you can see, as I mentioned last night, why we waited till the fall to do this is because, as you can see, um, it burned all up in here. So uh, we'll be exposed to the sun the whole way, and it's just better to do this uh, in the cooler months. I wouldn't want to do this in the summer, it'd just be, miserable I guess you know early enough but that's the ticket anyway Jen would you say it was a brisk evening last night yes it was even more of a brisk morning <laughs> yeah. there you're not an elk to her tail. <laughs> yeah tie one to her tail we yeah, I've got some orange flagging tape here we uh it's prime hunting season I think they're elk hunting up here so uh we're just putting some, we didn't have any orange clothing, so we're gonna put some orange tape on our packs <clears throat> and the dog and hope we don't uh, catch one, if you know what I mean.
So we're following a dirt road for the first couple miles, we believe, and then we'll cut off and make a run at the peak. Seems simple enough, huh? All right, started out with the dirt road, then I went to an ATV track, and now uh, now it looks like that's ended, and uh, we may have some type of trail. I don't expect it to be, uh, I'm not sure about the route finding, but we're using a route off of all trails that we're following up to this thing, so. Uh, it may be navigable, and it may be whatever. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, well, so far the trail is navigable. <sighs> kind of meanders a bit, but uh, it's all right. Well, they're moving. Lots of cows in here, we're spooking them. And I don't particularly like being that close to the free range cows, 2,000 pound animal. If it gets the notion, well, it could ruin your day. But at least it doesn't have claws, right? Well, well, well. Look at that. So how far have we come, Jen? Uh, 2.4 miles. What's our elevation? It is 7,600 feet. So we came up 1,300 feet. About. So we got 2,000 more feet to go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it looks like all of our elevation is going to come right at the end. Huh? Yeah. Actually, how it goes. Yeah, right. <sighs> nice. All right. It's up now. Alright, we are not on any trail, we're just following this around to get up to this ridge line here. And the walking's not too bad. It's a beautiful day though. Alright, we cut over and we believe we are back on the trail and there's some flagging. We've seen this intermittently, so I wouldn't say the trail is easily navigable because uh, we definitely lost it or we just walked right by it following our feet so I don't know but um, it appears we are back on it okay well we made it to the ridge line Now we go that way. 
How's it going over there? Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are better than flies, right? No flies. No flies. All right, we're continuing on up this. As you can see, whew, we're getting some views. And I think at this point we're just over 8,500 feet. So we don't have much farther to go. Well, so we think. <laughs> All right, 88.30. 88.30? All right, yeah, so yeah, we're almost there. Well, definitely feel like we're hitting nine nine thousand feet, huh? Starting to suck a little wind here. Okay, well, we were looking at this knob over here when we started the hike, but that's not Full Creek Peak. But, uh, it's more to the east than uh, what we thought. So, you know, that's where we roll. All right, Jen. Well, at least we're not lost. Well, not yet anyway. There's always room for that. All right, well, we're kind of to our summit push coming out of uh, this burnt forest here. And this is the final stretch, kind of zigzag up to the summit here, maybe three, 400 feet or so, I'm not sure, but uh, we're about to bag this puppy. Jen, how you feeling? Jen got the mumble stumbles. Uh, yeah, I had to stop and get her to eat something. And that's exactly what happened to me when I did virgin peak in my body shut down on me so gotta eat when you're doing this yeah, all right let's go get it All right, I see the register box, the memorial. Here we are, folks. This is a view here. Summit of Full Creek Peak. North, congratulations on summit first. Yeah. Here we go, folks. Very nice. Whew. All right, well, we have made it to the summit of Fools Creek Peak. Got our register box here. Fool Creek Peak. Register dropped November 2017. All right, Jen, this took us three hours and 30 minutes to summit. Very nice, very nice. Let's see, the last people to summit. It's October 4th. Very nice. Nice a few days ago. All right. Congratulations, Jen. Good day with you, too. And congratulations, North. That's a proper smush sandwich. Very nice. <laughs> That's going to taste real good. All right. As usual, we got to put in our log. 
October 6, 2019. You first outdoors. Awesome. North Jen Katie and D Rock. Booyah. There you have it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna top that off and shake it up. That's uh, some Vitalite. Shake that up. Get the electrolytes back in gin. Get her feeling better. Just had some sandwiches, so you gotta eat and drink when you start feeling like that. Um, your body will shut down if you don't, if you keep pushing on. It's not, it's no bueno. Well, chug a little bit of that. That should make you feel better. Give you a little more energy. All right, I found the geo marker. <clears throat> there we are. Oh. There you have it. Well, Jen, as far as summit go, what do you think of this one? There's a memorial right here to Chet Finlayson, mountaineer friend, father. You will always be missed, but your spirit will always be with us on our hikes through life. Keep climbing. Heard that. Keep climbing. All right. Well, we had something to eat. Refreshed a little bit. A little 360 up here. You'll know you made it when you see this structure, right, Jen? Yeah. There's north there by the geo marker. And we came down from all the way right there. And I think we originally thought that uh, right around there was our peak, but it's actually off to the east a little bit. And there you have it. And it is just a sheer cliff right here. I'm not getting too close to that because I'm not wearing a wingsuit. But we're just going back the same way we came up. So we're not really going to record too much on that. So, uh, that's something interesting happens. And the trail coming up, uh, like I said, it went from dirt road to ATV track to actual footpath, and then it kind of, mm, here and there. It wasn't, it, we found it, it wasn't too bad, but um, pretty cool walk up. Like I said, about three and a half hours to summit, and hopefully we can get down in, in half that time. So that's the plan anyway. There you have it, summit of Fool Creek Peak. Oh yeah. Y'all ready to head down? Yep. All right, let's get down. See you down there. Beautiful fall colors. Well, all right, we've made it down to the road. Our truck's just down there a ways, actually drove up a little bit. Uh, you can drive up to this point, but you're gonna get stopped when this road actually turns into an ATV track. So it cuts off a little time, which is nice. Jen, any thoughts on the, uh, the hike? Perfect time of year to do it. Beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, the weather just nice and cool. Great. Yeah, beautiful. Probably be a little tough out here in the summertime. Dude, there's no shade, so keep that in mind. Also, cows. They're everywhere. We jumped them the entire way up and down on the trail. So keep an eye out for that. But there you have it. Full Creek Peak, summit achieved, very nice. A little camping in the Fish Lake National Forest. Good times, good times. Well, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Support for the channel is greatly appreciated. We'll see you next time. D Rock out. Turn out.
North. You out? All right then. Hounds out. Adios.